you've received your Creo 9541 WDT. So what's next? We know it can sometimes be intimidating to get started. In this video, we'll show you how to get your printer ready for its first print. But first, let's get familiar with your new Creo 9541 WDT. In this video, we'll show you how to remove your printer and printer cabinet from the box. Next, we'll open the printer, install the transfer roller belt, remove plastic tabs, install the toners, and activate the image drums. Then, we'll power up the printer, install the driver and rip software, load paper so you can get started with your new Creo 9541 WDT. Remember, if you have any questions or need help, Creo has excellent support and a lot of resources on their website to assist. Now, let's get your Creo 9541 WDT up and running. Remove the printer cabinet from the box and place it on the floor next to the printer. Gently lift the box up over the printer. The toners do not come individually boxed, so make sure to lift gently so you do not knock the toners around. Set the toners in the styrofoam holder aside. Set the styrofoam with the RIP software, transfer roller, and power cord aside. Cut away the plastic bag from the printer. This is easiest to do by cutting near the middle of the printer all the way around and removing the top portion. This allows for easier access to the handles. Before lifting the printer onto the printer cabinet, reach into the drawer of the cabinet and grab the two pins and two screws. The two longer pins go to the back of the cabinet and the two screws go to the front of the cabinet. 
There are two handles on each side of the printer to remove the printer out of the box. For this step, you will want to get at least one other person to help you lift and place it. The printer is over 200 pounds. Lift the printer out of the box onto a table or the printer stand. Be sure to match up the pins you put in the printer cabinet to the holes on the bottom of the printer. Remove all blue tape on the outside of the printer and any orange packing material. After removing the printer from the box, the next step is installing the transfer roller. Open the plastic wrapping around the transfer roller. Do not touch the roller with your bare fingertips. The blue areas on the roller indicate where you can grab the unit. Open the right side cover of the printer. Find where the roller goes and unlock the spot for the transfer roller by pushing the blue tabs back. Position the roller into its assembly and be sure to follow the grooves when inserting it. Once inserted, lock it back into place by pushing the blue tabs back to their original position and shut the compartment. Open the toner cover on the front panel of the printer. The toners will have blue areas as well that show you the proper places to handle the toner. Slide each toner into the correct spot based on the color. Slide them back until they click into position. Repeat this process for each toner. For this next step, it's best to have a soft fabric laid down on your table for when you set the image drums down. This is to protect the drums from being scratched. Open the front panel. Again, be sure to only touch the image drum where the blue areas are and never touch the green image drum roller. Remove all the orange clips on the front of the image drums. Slide out the image drums one at a time and remove the orange plastic clips on both the front and back of the drums. Slide the drum back into its position and push. You'll feel it lock into place. Repeat this for all five drums, then close the front panel. Before powering on the printer, pull out tray one and remove the orange packing material inside. Get the power cord and plug it into the printer on the back in the bottom right. Plug your printer directly into a wall outlet. Be sure not to use a power strip or extension cord. On the back left of the printer, flip the master power switch to on. On the front left of the printer, above the paper tray, press the power button. Give the printer at least a minute to power up calibrate and run through its startup cycle. On the computer you will be running the printer from, open a web browser to mycreo.com slash downloads. Be sure to have the printer off and not connected to the computer. Select the Creo printer. Download the driver and run the driver installation tool. Select your language and click OK. Agree to the license agreement and the installation wizard will open. Click Next. Select Easy Installation, Local. The installation will begin and when prompted, connect your USB cord to the printer and power on the printer. Once you see the screen indicating your installation is complete, click Finish and the driver is now installed for your printer. On the same computer, Go back to mycreo.com slash downloads. Find the RIP software under the 9541 WDT RIP section and click to download it. Once the software is downloaded, double click on the file to run the installation wizard. When prompted, click start 
and select your language and click OK. On the next page, choose the 64-bit Windows application. On the next page, accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. Select the full install of Digital Factory V10 Toner Transfer Pro Edition and click Next. On the next two pages, click Next to proceed. When the Install Shield wizard indicated your installation is complete, click Finish. When prompted, select Enter Activation Code. Fill in the following form with the activation code provided with your printer and other required information. The activation code can be found on a sticker on the side of the printer and on the digital factory flyer inserted in your documentation that came with your printer. Click Register My Product. Once activated, you will need to reopen the RIP software. A first-time setup box will show up. Click OK, leaving settings as is. When prompted, click Next to set up your local production queue. Be sure to have your printer on and connected to your computer with the included USB cord. Click Install Printer, then select the Creo 9541 WDT and click OK. Be sure that Search for New Printer Packages from DVD or Cloud Server is checked, as well as Search Cloud Server for Printer Packages. Click Next. Once the device package update is complete, click Next. On the Printer Port Setup page, click the dropdown, Find, and select 9541 WDT Printer. Click Next. Once indicated that the driver package was installed successfully, click Finish. If prompted by Windows Defender, click Allow Access. Your RIP software is now installed, activated, and ready to use. Now that your printer is set up, there's only one thing left to do. Register your printer using the Creo Remote Support Tablet provided with your printer. Once registered, you're now ready to unleash your creativity with your new Creo 9541 WDT. If you have any questions that weren't answered here, check out our other videos or use your remote support tablet.